I'm getting ready to head out to meet my buddy Wally. He's got something I've only heard about. I've never seen it, so I'm really excited. Uh, I actually saw my first picture today. He bought this truck from Alan Jackson. How cool is that? Uh, I brought my wife's 71 Scout 800B. You'll see why a little bit later in the show. Uh, so let's go meet up with Wally and catch that butterfly. <laughs> What's up, man? Eric? I'm excited. I'm How excited. Are you, How are you? Good to see you. Appreciate you coming out. <laughs> it's the first time. Oh, man. Dude. All original. Yeah, I love everything about it. Every inch. Pop in there. Can I get in? Jump Can in. Can I get in? Wow. Oh. So you got 81,000 on her. I love it, man. <laughs> Eric, look at this original horn right here. All this I'm is original? Everything up here is original. This dash pad, did you have it recovered? Nope, dash pad. Just is, and not a crack in it. Not a crack in it. So it doesn't see the sun very often. Spend its life in a hangar. Yeah, we'll get into that. I'm excited, man. And is this all these badges here? Are these all? All, all those there? are original. Eric, take a look at this. So the VIN numbers and all the Broncos are right here in the glove box. They're all right here? All right there, which is so odd to me that they put them there. But So you could take these four screws off, take this, and put on a different Bronco? You could do that. What's going on, Eric? Uh, what's your name, where are you from? Wally Legg, Dixon, Tennessee. Cool, all right. Uh, we were talking earlier before we decided to do this, and you said that people that know you know this is your passion. What do you mean by that? Very passionate about the vintage SUV world. Okay. So honestly, I've been passionate about uh, old cars ever since I was old enough to know what an old car was. Cool. So started at a young age, and then when I was in high school, I was fortunate enough to be able to buy an old Jeep CJ, and that led to, to many more cars. Some that's uh, that's kind of my personality, though. I like the old-fashioned, they're only original once. Yeah. So I like them to look like they rolled off the assembly line. Okay. Well, speaking of original, uh, what is that right there? Yeah, so that's my 73 Ford Bronco. Uh, I was fortunate to, to pick that up back in 2017. The, the majority of the truck is original. Okay. So it's... Original truck, original paint for the 95%, okay. uh, a lot of good patina, little to no rust. The 73 was the first year of the C4 transmission. Okay. So that one, uh, in my opinion, is kind of the perfect storm. So okay. automatic C4 transmission, it's got um, power steering, but okay. it does not have power brakes. Okay. So that's kind of the only option that I wish it had. Were you looking specifically for a Bronco or? Were... So I had actually sold that Jeep CJ7 okay. and I wanted a Jeep Scrambler. Okay. And they're awesome. So, yeah, man, they're awesome. And I was on a trip, and the pilot who was flying us, um, I was telling him about my passion. I said, hey, I'm into the old vintage SUVs. And he said, man, I've actually got one. And I'm thinking about selling it. So I stayed on him, and that was kind of my segue into to being able to buy the truck. There's something kind of special about this one, though, isn't there? Yeah, so Alan Jackson was the owner of, of the that The Alan truck. Jackson. The Alan Jackson. <laughs> okay. Way down yonder on the Chattahoochee. The okay. funny story, I need to send you these pictures. Okay. Um, so when I went to look at the Bronco, it was in Alan's hangar. That's a lot of the reason why the Bronco is in such good shape. The single stage paint. Hard for a 50 year old truck to have a much better life than live inside an airplane hangar. Sure, sure. You gotta love uh, airline pilot. They're very routine on their, on their sure. maintenance for the planes. So that made me feel really good buying an old truck. Uh, routine maintenance was big. I graduated in 2004, okay. so we had a couple guys at, at our school with the, the fifth generation Bronco. Okay. So I don't know the exact the OJ year. Yeah, the OJ Bronco. Yeah. Do you think that helped that market or yes, hurt it? I think it helped. think it helped, it helped it. it? I had a 92 Bronco that I actually sold about uh, about a year ago that was the white OJ. Was it? Yeah, and I would get so much attention on that Bronco. <laughs> it was the XLT version, the, yeah. all the vinyl, vinyl seats, all original. A little bit rough around the edges um, is why I ended up getting rid of it. but. 
Those are I, I fun think the, trucks. The OJ Bronco is in a museum somewhere. I want to see it. Yeah, I um, believe you're right. I've had a lot of people through the years, you know, hey, what would you take? Would you would you be willing to sell it? And I'm like, hey, make me an offer, but it's it's my baby so for it's, sure. So it's for sale. It, anything's for sale, well, right? Everything's for sale for the right price. Okay. But it um, it would be a hard hard truck for me to replace. I mean, I I would love to have that truck for the rest of my life. And yeah. Then, so if somebody member. offered you a substantial amount of money, you take it? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm for profit. So. For profit. Okay. Do you, do you know what the, the Bronco was built to compete against? I would imagine it was the Scout. The Jeep. The Jeep. The Land Cruiser. Yep, all of them. Well, I brought mine today. And from what I understand, they're pretty similar in size. I think we should compare them and take a look. We've got the heart. Now let's go get some horsepower. Let's do it. Let's what put them think? head to head. Okay. What I, I think it's really cool about these two is the colors, right? Like, you're not going Original out and buying colors. a, you're not going out and buying a baby blue Tahoe, yeah. right? Or, I mean, maybe more green, but I mean, it just screams seventies to me. I think absolutely. It's Come on, baby blue, you can't yeah. beat that. It's just with the white no, interior. No, you would never want that on a new modern day car. The, <laughs> the greens, the yeah, just rad metallics. Well, so I actually had to write this down because I didn't want to forget, but the measurements on these things are pretty Spectacularly. Is that a word? Spectacularly? I'm curious. So the Scout length is 157 inches. Okay. The Bronco, 152 inches. So five inches. The height, the Scout is 70 inches. And this is 73 inches. In the width, they're both 69 inches. Oh, wow. This is one of my favorite parts right here. To get the wipers to work. I mean, this is quite a contraption yeah. here. And the wipers actually work really well. Do they? Well, you don't need them because you don't drive in the rain. So I've got the hard top, and then I've got the big plastic wiper cover. That's is that what it is? A that's kind of like the most complicated part about taking the top off is getting all the bolts and covers for the wiper. They actually make a kit. A lot of people flip the wiper where it doesn't stick up so high like that. Okay. Well, like I said, that with my other Scout, you know, the problem was with the soft top is you're having to drill in. I don't think a lot of guys want to do that you unless do these that. are... Unless it comes no, with factory I, I think you have to do the same. So, and they're, they're difficult to install, put on. And this, I don't remember, this didn't come with the tire carrier, right? Did not come with the tire carrier. So this was the, the base Spartan package. Now, do you, will you take this to Home Depot and throw some mulch in there? Uh, yeah, probably not. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> I'll, about, about as rough as this one gets. Yeah. He'll run through the mud and water yeah. and, you know, we'll drop the tailgate and yeah. load him up. A lot of times I'll take this back seat out too, so there's... Four bolts total, so two and two. I can have that back seat out in about three minutes. I love that you actually use it. You know, it's not, uh, you know, just sitting in your garage. You'll never guess the places that I've been. You never guess the places that I've been Cause everything is like a dream, yeah But only in that dream that I live in So dude, I can't believe this dash pad is in this good shape. Are they impossible you, you to You know, find? I can't tell you if that's original or not. I wish I could say it is original. Let's pretend like it is. We'll pretend. Okay. <laughs> but if, if, it, if it was cracked, and you want to find a new one, is I it think impossible? It, no, I, th I think they're out there. You can get an aftermarket one, but it, it definitely wouldn't be an OEM. Dude, this thing doesn't even squeak at all. It's not bad. It's very pure. Oh, there was one thing I was going to ask you too, I forgot. Does it have a nickname or a name? I actually don't have a nickname. Uh, if anything, Old Blue. Old, like O-L-E -E or -E. Old? Old Blue. Old Blue. Right. Uh-oh, getting a little soft over here. Uh-oh. We've had a lot of rain over the last two or three days. Two-wheel drive. It was a two-wheel drive? No problem, huh? Beautiful. These idea. little Broncos will go anywhere. They're a little nimble, aren't they? This is still my favorite uh, part. It's amazing. Let's, see, little, let's see him work. A little tour there. <laughs> oh, it goes off. Look at that. Is that taking it back to the basics yeah. or what? I mean, you just gotta love how basic it is. I mean, it's... Check out the steering wheel right here, the steering wheel cover. I love it. I think that's the most classic part on the whole truck yeah. right there. Let me look at the simplicity. That's it. You, you look at your gauge. One, yeah, one gauge. 
you got what, fuel and temp and that's it? So fortunately the fuel gauge has always worked. This one has the double tanks. Okay. So I think it's roughly like 12 gallons and four gallons. Okay. I've had to flip it before. I've been mm -hmm. driving down the highway. And, so it works, the oh, yeah, works. works. Truck's dying, truck's dying. And then that I just reach, I reach down, boom, takes a couple seconds and catches up. I love that you drive this thing too. Like you went through that water like that. I mean, some people just, you know, drive to the, get a coffee. Right? Yeah, I mean, a total difference in using it and abusing it. Yeah. Love it. back here. These seats are comfortable. So they, are they normally like this stuffed? No, I, I think there's stuffed some pretty, pretty I think good. there's some pretty good foam in them. The problem is sometimes I have to low ride though when the hard tops on here, I kind of have to get okay. down. And so I, I'm still kind of confused. The hard top and then it, there's a piece that goes over here, so yeah. the hard top a, must be There's a big plastic cover. The hard top goes up quite a bit. Okay. And how many miles did you say this had? So 81,000 on it. And that's original? Original miles. See, a lot of people wouldn't go through here in their, in their truck. You know, they want to get it scratched, but that's what they're for. Two wheel. Two wheel squill. Is that it, we turn it around? And that's all she wrote. Well, I think you did a pretty good job. You gonna, so now I go backwards where well, we're going to turn around. Now I just well, need you to come out here, Eric, and help me for about four or five days straight. Yeah. Cutting trees and hauling logs. And Love it. This is cool, man. So you did. I'm surprised you didn't know that the door handles came from a Mustang. I she thought you not. would know that. I didn't know until I did a little bit did of a little research. research. Yeah. yeah, I should have polished up on my years of engines and... See, here's what's great about the Bronco, though. Look how, close we, look how close we are to that tree. You can see everything. The fence. Yeah, and this, you know, I think when they were new, I wonder how much they were new. I mean, what were like, I don't know, 3,500 bucks or something like that? I would say closer to that $5,000 okay. marker. And I think this is what people use them for. They probably come out here and throw a bunch of logs in farmers, the back. And... Farmers have them. There was just nothing special about them. They weren't sold after. Well, I tell you also, these are some of my favorite windows. These wing windows. Yeah, love you don't those. Have AC, love and those. And you're wearing shorts. Those are killer. set. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. So do you mow this grass? Every now and then. We've got a guy that cuts hay out here, so we, we just dropped a quite a bit of fertilizer. He'll cut it, he'll cut the hay three times. We, we mow the perimeters. Okay. So we'll mow the perimeters, we'll mow a couple strips through the middle, so you can come out here, golf cart, ATV. Yeah. Bring the bring the fam out sometime. Okay. If she ever talks to me again after what I did in that water. <laughs> oh, that check engine light will go off. <laughs> Yours doesn't have a check engine light, does it? <laughs> I can't say I've ever seen one. So I got the high beam lights down here in the, the left. Pedal, I mean, it's, yeah. it's just incredibly basic. Look at it. Lights, hazard, wipers. Let's crank the heat. I'm curious about the heat. Let's crank it. So Let's see. Where's it come from down you here? You twist it. It comes, yep, comes from down there. And then you pull that out for the temp. And it's just sucking out the motor, right? Yep. I got you high now. Basic four low, four high, two high and neutral. Do all the, like the, the goodies work, like your blinkers? I mean, I'm sure they do, you drive it. Yep. Like all your yeah, lights. so I've, I've had to go through the electrical, and so I basically swapped out all my bulbs, um, okay. some wiring tweaks, Pretty electrical simple, right? Tweaks. Two screws yep. taken up with the bulb very, in. Very simple, and like we were talking about, you head over to AutoZone or wherever, hey, I need a bulb for a 73 Bronco. Boom. They got one. Part number ABC yeah. will be back in 10 seconds. Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm back in 1971 or three, having some chocolate pretzels Man, on the farm. Just sitting on the back 40 acres. <laughs> After a hard day's work of mowing and spreading. So you have no future plans with that, right? Just drive it as it is? Drive it as is, like I said, you know, slippery slope, maybe get the power brakes. Yeah. What was the, the name Nashville. of the Nashville. How did that the, happen? The TV show Nashville. So I had heard that it was in the, the videos, in the movies, and I'd had it for about two or three weeks and a guy contacted me. I think it was through CMT. And he said, hey man, we've been using this Bronco on, uh, on, yeah. on video. 
would you lease it to us? So I would lease it to them by the day. They would come pick it up. I'll have to send you some videos. Yeah, yeah. And they would wash it, clean it, fill it up pick with it gas. Pick it up, drop it off. Pick it up, drop it off, same day. That's so. awesome. How many episodes? Do we, do we know what episodes they are? Can I actually don't. Do I you know? could probably figure you it out. You never watched it? I, I watched it, but it's been six or seven years. Okay. That's awesome. How much did you get for that? Yeah, I think it was uh, it was two hundred fifty dollars a day. Was it? Yeah. You didn't have to do anything. Didn't have to do anything. I think it was Luke in the video. I think that was Luke's truck. Luke, one of the actors. Oh, okay, okay. That's awesome. What so a much fun, dude. That was so much fun. Appreciate you coming Good out here. You, that was fun. All right, take it easy. All right.